हे गाइस वेलकम बैक दिस इज एमी एंड यू आर वॉचिंग एंड्रॉयड पावर इन दिस वीडियो आई विल गिव यू अ फुल रिव्यू ऑफ एम आई यू आई टेन ऑन एम आई ए वन इफ़ यू वॉन्ट टू नो द इंस्टॉलेशन मेथड ऑफ दिस रोम यू कैन वॉच माई प्रीवियस वीडियो विच विल बी लिंक्ड इन वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन सो फर्स्ट स्टार्ट विद द बूट एनिमेशन दिस रोम हैज ए स्लाइटली डिफरेंट बूट एनिमेशन दैन द ऑफिशियल एम आई यू आई टेन कोर्स दिस इज द कस्टमाइज रोम फ्रॉम एपिक This is the initial setup screen. This room has multi-language support. Usually, we are getting two themes in any MIUI room, but we are getting only one theme, which is the limitless theme. So, I have successfully set it up everything, and you don't need MI account for this room. As you can see, Google Play Store is updating. There is a HD icon notification, so I am hoping VoLT should not have an issue. This is the lock screen and this is the default launcher which is the MIUI launcher but you can install the Poco launcher from the Google Play Store if you have joined the beta tester program if don't then download the APK from the video description and install it manually Poco launcher is working fine with this rom and have no issues now let's check the OS version for this go to settings my device tab all specs and here you can see the MIUI version is 10.8.7.2 and sadly OS version is 7.1.2 which is no good and security patch is from June 18 now let's talk about MIUI 10 features for a moment this is the android peak style peak setting and notification panel with rounded toggles there is a new brightness slider just below the quick setting panel This is a notification panel and here you can swipe left on a notification to go into app settings or you can snooze the notification for a particular period of time. This is the new vertical style recent menu which goes up and down and for clearing the tabs you can swipe left or right. You can hold on any tab to get advanced options like locking the tab and to go into app settings and you can enable the split screen mode. This is the new volume slider and here you can change the sounds profile within the slider itself. If you hit the three dot menu you can individually change the volume of music, notification and alarm and you can also enable the set and countdown timer for silent and D&D mode. About the camera app this is the default MIUI camera there is option for portrait mode on the rear camera. There is 4K video recording but no image stabilization. HDR is also broken in the camera app. Whenever I try to use the camera in HDR mode, it crashes. This ROM also has full screen gestures and to enable gestures, go to device settings, full screen display and here you can enable the full screen gestures and it works just fine. By enabling this, it will disable the hardware button. which is a nice thing you can swipe up to go into the home screen and swipe up and hold for recent tab and you can go back by swiping left right from the edge of the screen this rom also has a face unlock and it works great just like my redmi note 5 pro it unlocks the phone within a second regarding the fingerprint reader i feel the fingerprint is working faster than the stock rom Rome has very minimal apps and you will get a inbuilt FM radio app which is working great you are also getting a new MIUI 10 security app this rom is pre-rooted and it will pass the safety net out of the box which is a nice thing this is the network tab no network drop for me jio is working fine in data vlt is working great no issues is calling to wifi is working out of the box no issue with hotspot 2 and dual band wifi support is there now let's move to display tab auto brightness is working great but there is a bug with reading mode and it stays on even if you switch it off and in order to get it back to the normal state you need to reboot your phone i have also tried double tap to wake up which is working fine if you go to themes here you can download the themes and use in this rom this is sounds and vibration tab haptic feedback works 
There is no issues with audio and video playback with loudspeaker or 3.5 headphone jack and even with Bluetooth headphones. Under notifications and status bar tab, you can customize the app notification, show notification and connection speed on the status bar and you can also enable the battery percentage on the status bar. Under home screen and recent tab, you can change the default launcher, enable or disable app mode or you can enable the memory in the recent menu. Apart from these, you can enable second space option where you can use two different profiles. You can also use the dual app feature. Regarding the battery, I am getting pretty good battery backup with this ROM. And in additional settings tab, you can enable the quick ball, customize hardware buttons or you can use the audio effects with headphones just like any MIUI ROM. You can also customize the notification light and enable one-handed mode. I have also tried to lock my location but it took few minutes to lock my location from indoors. About the benchmarks, the Geekbench score for single CPU core is 873 and the multi-core score is 4282 and the Antutu version 7 score is 75997. So that's pretty much for this video, hit the like button if you find this video helpful and subscribe for more these kinds of videos. Till then I am signing off, bye bye.